Welcome back to Joe's Not Worried About It, where we turn market anxiety into profit. I'm Joe, and by the end of this video, you'll see why I'm not worried about the biggest spenders in tech. Let's talk about big tech and the Mag7. These hyperscalers, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, just dropped $95 billion alone in Q2 on their CapEx data expenditures. That's a 63% surge year over year, and the number is only going one direction, and it's not down. I know you hear Wall Street's analysts whispering pullback, but hyperscalers are saying this is the build-out phase, and I'd listen to the people spending the money. So why does the spending make sense? People hear billions in CapEx and assume inefficiency or overbuilding or bubble for some reason. But this isn't 2025 cloud hosting. This is a literal arms race for AI infrastructure dominance. And every dollar spent compounds. This is important. Pay attention. AI models don't train themselves. Inference doesn't run on vibes. And you need racks of GPUs, terabytes of memory, custom cooling machines, and bleeding edge technology to make it all work. So the CapEx today is literally equating to revenue tomorrow. They're not spending. They're seeding preparing for something big. There's actually a scarcity in the market, and it's the GPUs that NVIDIA provides. So here's the dirty secret. NVIDIA, Broadcom, TSMC, they don't have infinite output. So who gets the best chips? It's the ones who buy first and buy big. An early CapEx increase buys you volume discounts, priority delivery, and supply chain visibility for the things that they need the most. Everyone else can fight over the scraps. This isn't just about tech. It's about allocation warfare. Smaller players cannot keep up. Startups, LLM labs, and even Fortune 500 companies companies, they're all boxed out because their bankrolls don't match the hyperscalers. And prices for GPUs, HBM3 memory, and top-end networking has been distorted by hyperscaler demand. And it's not by accident. It's by design. It's war. If you want to dominate the future, you don't just innovate, you absorb. Efficiency equals profit level. So let's address the skeptics. But Joe, what if they're overspending? Won't the ROI decay? The answer is no, because new GPUs actually have better performance per watt. Software improvements actually lower inference costs. Liquid cooling, better rack density, NV link fabric all drive operating leverage. CapEx is going up and unit economics are getting better. It's literally cheaper for hyperscalers to buy new units than to run the existing stack. I'm gonna repeat that again. The more they spend on new and better tech, the cheaper their data is and it's actually more efficient so it's a weird flywheel where they have to keep buying more because their stuff is cheaper it's not a bubble this isn't the 1990s this is 1960s nasa the mission is long term the cost is up front and the payoff will be generation so am i worried about runaway capex from big tech not at all this isn't a spending spree it's a sovereignty play and an infinite positive loop these chips are maxed out running 24 7 they're being paid for there's real revenues behind this that's not a bubble ai is the new oil field and the hyperscalers are the pipeline. So subscribe, stay sharp, and don't worry about it because you know I'm not.